I am a firm believer in buying the best quality tools and supplies that I can afford, but sometimes there are inexpensive alternatives that will do the job and, and work out just fine. Today I have for you a review of a set of tools and some jewelry that are rather inexpensive. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether they are worth it. Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. So this is a really neat thing. This is from BB Craft. They sent it along to me to review and it is a set of jewelry making tools. I like to be very tidy and organized so I love this neat little case and how it all just folds up so beautifully. This is the 10 piece beading toolkit with case. So you get some jewelry making tools, round nose pliers. Now right off the bat I noticed that these are kind of rough these are, they, they have a little like stick to them. They're, they're definitely not uh, an expensive pair, but they will do the job. So here's just some 20 gauge craft wire, and this is how I would go about making a loop. And that works fine. They do come down to very nice narrow tips. Let's see how, how small of a loop can we make. That's pretty tiny. That's nice. So I mean, these work just fine. They fit nicely in the hand. They're a good size. I like the little spring in there. They operate okay. Let's check out these. So you get the round nose pliers and you get chain nose pliers. They seem to do a good job. So yeah, uh, this is, you know, they, they work just fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Again, it's the same design. This is actually a really nice size to fit in the hand. They're very comfortable. If you're doing a lot of repetitive motions with tools like this, you can end up causing damage if the tool doesn't fit in your hand well and you're like compensating for it. So, I mean, these seem to work just fine. And I'll skip over those for the moment and go to the third tool in here the tool, like, you know, the handle tool, uh, up just a pair of flush cutters. Now these don't look big. I don't know what the rating is on them. I probably wouldn't go much above 18 gauge wire. I wouldn't go much heavier than that. You might damage them. Now these have a, can you see that? Kind of a, like a stutter stick. I'm not sure what's up with that. Yeah, and if I pull it too far, it's stuck. This set at the moment, the day I'm recording it, is $16.06 at the BB Craft site. You can find sets similar to this on Amazon. I, I looked, I didn't see any that were exactly the same, but I saw a few that were similar that were actually a little bit less in price. Then you get a pair of scissors, and uh, the action is rough. <laughs> They definitely don't sound like a nice pair that's smooth, but will it cut thread? Yes. I use this to cut fire line, uh, which is beading thread. This is just some sewing thread. And it, it cuts. Just hold your thread taut. Let me try cut holding it loosely. Yeah, it cuts. Sometimes a really dull pair will chew through the thread rather than cut it cleanly. So we've got a pair of scissors. This is a jump ring tool, which I think is nifty. I've shown you these before. It just fits on your finger. And I didn't think to bring any jump rings, so let me make one real quick. The way, the way this works is you have it on your finger and you have a pair of pliers in the other hand and you can do this. Open and close. And there's slots of different thicknesses. See, like that one doesn't fit in there, so that would be for a smaller gauge wire. But that fits that fits perfectly to open it. So if you're doing a lot of things like chain mail, where you need to open and close a lot of jump rings. This is a nice little tool to have. It just keeps you from having to pick up and put down another pair of pliers all the time. You just wear it. 
So that's nifty. And I like the way it's attached in there with the uh, the little keychain kind of thingy. All right, and then we're on to this cluster of tools over here. An awl, which is always a very useful thing to have. It tapers down quite nicely to a very fine point, and it gets pretty thick down here, so I can see where that would be useful with a little protective sleeve. This isn't something I would have thought of including in a bead making kit, but I think that I know that there are times and places when I could have used a little tiny hook like this fixing snags and sweaters or just pulling something through a very small space that you need it to go through. So like a little tiny latch hook and a utility knife. If you're going to be traveling, air travel with this, this would have to go um, in checked baggage. You could not bring it into with your carry-on, just as a thought, because I'm thinking this would be a really great travel kit. So you've got a utility knife. I imagine you can buy replacement blades. It clips on so you can put it somewhere that's convenient. And then finally there are two pairs of tweezers. And they seem like pretty decent tweezers. They're, you know, there's not much to say about them. They've got good action. We've got bent nose and straight. They both are pretty nice and parallel up until the very end, if you can see that, which I like because I actually was looking. I was contemplating spending a fair amount of money on a pair of tweezers for working in polymer clay and fixing doll fingers. It's so hard when you sculpt a doll finger. It often is very thick down here and it gets all thin up here as you're pulling it out. So having a pair of tweezers to kind of squish it so that it's all like our fingers, about the same thickness from the hand to the tip. So these might actually come in useful and they're also, they pick up beads, seed beads and such. And those little things keep them under control. So for $16, if you like to travel with your beadwork, I can see a set like this being very useful. Like I said, just bear in mind, you won't be able to go through security in an airport with it. Too many sharp things. So you would have to be sure that you put it in your checked baggage or lose it. So I think this is a really nice kit. It's a uh, something good for beginners. If you know somebody who's wanting to get into beading, you don't want to expend a lot to start with. This would be a, a good introduction. Although I am a fan of you know, buying the best quality you can. One thing I thought of doing with these, I don't travel with my crafts much. I find if I'm traveling, I'd rather enjoy the travel and not spend the time doing other things that I usually do at home. But I had a thought that I would like to take these inexpensive tools and dip them in tool magic. There's been a few times when I've wished I had nice cushioned tools and I've it's crossed my mind to buy another set to have the ends dipped in that. And if you don't know what that is, it's not something I've mentioned before. So I may do a Friday findings on that coming up soon, but it's basically the stuff that you dip your tools in and it dries on there and makes a cushion. So if you're doing something with wire that you don't want to mar, you could still use your tools with it. I really haven't used it much, so I'll have to give it a try and get back to you with the Friday findings. Like I said in the intro, I'll leave it up to you whether or not you think this is worth it to buy an inexpensive set of tools. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces, plus the case, which I think is awesome, for under twenty dollars for certain. Most of these tools are going to go for more than two dollars, so I, I think it's a good thing to have on hand for gift giving or for traveling. So that's it for tools. Now I have a set of jewelry that they sent me. This is the 60-piece set of big hole beads. The holes are all four to five millimeters, so they work perfectly with this style of chain. This is um, a stainless steel snake chain. You've seen these. Pandora has a lot of beads like this. As usual, 
I'm just such a fan of organizers that I love this little case that they come in and I don't know if that I have much use for this. It would be nice for gift giving. But these are all the beads that come in this set. And yes, there are some pretty obvious knockoffs of Pandora beads, like the the flower beads, I know I've seen these in Pandora, and the little handbag beads. There's a bunch of those in here in different colors. I love the ones that are little charms and dangles. So 60 pieces, and the price that I checked just today for this is $15. That means these beads, without counting in the cost of the little organizer, work out to 25 cents each. In contrast, I have here a bracelet with a lot of, not all of these are Pandora beads, but a lot of them are. And these little charms, just like, like this one. This one is kind of what some of these are looking to be like. This was $60 or $65, somewhere in that vicinity. Same with this one with the little butterfly and the dangle and the crystal. These were $60, as opposed to $0.25. Cents. Now, if you hold them up, let's see, there was one here that was comparable. Yes, I did dig through these the other night just to see what there was. And here's one that's close. 60 times 2 is 120. Is this one... Is this one 240 times nicer than this? Well, prop the materials, I'm sure, are nicer. The gems, I don't know how well you can pick it up on camera. The gems have a deeper sparkle. The metal, this is sterling silver. So the metal is nicer. The, the fittings are more detailed. But is it 240 times nicer? I don't know. I mean, I love my Pandora pieces. I. They're, they're great. Certainly, I think the detail is finer. Like if we look at the, all the, the tiny little details on this bird cage, there isn't anything here quite like that. But you can see how much finer they are than, like, say, this butterfly, or even what's the most detailed thing in here? Maybe the turtle. But again, are they that much nicer? I don't know. I mean, if you wanted to give somebody a sterling silver piece of jewelry, then absolutely. And the, and it holds its value. Gold and silver are going to hold it their value, whereas these things, once you've bought them, they don't have a whole lot of resale value. But I was thinking that this would be a whole lot of fun to buy the beads, buy a few bracelets, get together with some friends, and make some jewelry, or buy a set of beads, and you could probably get I would say five or six bracelets out of this. You don't want to fill the whole thing up entirely. I will say that these ones are definitely my least favorite. They just look, well, they look cheap. I don't really care for the look. Not, not when it's compared to this really pretty faceted glass stone. Putting them side by side, you can really see the difference. The tiny little precise facets the shine of the glass. But again, 25 cents, $60. But these, I don't know, I would probably end up avoiding using most of these just because I don't really care for the look. But I do love these little dangles. And even the pave. Look, so here's a little pave heart. And let's see, this is, these other pav, these paves are from artbeads.com, but this one is a, is a Pandora bead. And you can see just the scale is different, how much smaller and finer the details are in this. And yet they're still both pretty in their own way. So you could string on. I seem to remember looking at Pandora and it's said to put like no more than eight beads on a bracelet. I tried that earlier. I was just loading up. I'm just throwing these on at random. Oh, I love the little crown. That's so cute. Here's another crown. Okay. I gotta put a bead in between that. Little hearts. I mean, you could have fun just putting together a bracelet for any outfit or occasion. Although, I don't know. I don't usually have time for that, but that's pretty. <laughs> Okay, I've probably gone crazy here. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 
and it's pretty heavy. This might be a two-person operation. Actually, what I have, I didn't bring it with me, I didn't think to, is I have a little alligator clap, uh, clamp on a stick. And so you hold it like this, and then you hold on to, I would clamp it here to hold this in place, and hold it just with my fingers here while I mess with this end. So this is an 18 centimeter bracelet, which is just about seven inches, which is my size these days. So you kind of get the idea that if you put too much more on there, you're going to have to buy a bigger bracelet to accommodate them. Um, and then there's all the weight on them. So I'll leave that up to you. I just thought it was fun that you get all this assortment of charms. I, like I said, I love the dangles. You get butterflies, flowers, the little drums. You get some plain ones, hearts. There's another butterfly. There's another charm. <laughs> I think this is supposed to say angel, but it, it looks like anger to me. <laughs> okay. Let's see another little purse. Clean one. Yeah, I think that one, you only get two crowns. Not that I'm really big into crowns, but it's kind of cute. Yeah. Blue sparkly anger. <laughs> the turtle. You may end up getting, if you were to order this, you may end up with a different variety than I have. That would be my guess. I like these. I like the, um, probably because they have pretty small details and I like the the square shape on point, as we would call it in quilting. This is probably one of the finest ones in there, this little green one with the tiny beaded details. If you'd like more of my tutorials, check out my Patreon page for how you can get bonuses for yourself. So just to give you some ideas, um, yeah, it might be worth it. I've never been so particular about my jewelry that I feel like it has to be precious, gems and precious metals. I like that. I enjoy that. And I like the idea that it holds its value. It definitely has some monetary value. But as far as enjoying something and wearing it, for me, if it's pretty and it you know, doesn't look tawdry <laughs> or cheap, I, I can enjoy it just as much as a, a solid gold piece. Something to think about in the future. The bracelet, by the way, um, like I said, the prices that I checked today were was about $10 for the stainless steel bracelet. It's not the sterling silver one that you get at Pandora, but it's not, I think, $60, $50. I'm not sure how much. I haven't priced them recently. But it does the job. It holds your beads. It clasps securely. It looks pretty. So it's a nice alternative. And I'll leave it up to you whether or not uh, you think it would be worth your while. So thank you to BB Craft for sending along these things to review. And you might want to check out their site. They actually have a lot of crafting supplies fairly inexpensively. So if you're interested in these supplies, click on the link in the upper right. That will bring you to my blog post where I will have links to them. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Happy creating. Bye-bye.